one and show it to you here. And then I'm going to ask Pat to describe the second item, uh, what it is and how it was used, because she can probably do a better job than I can. Uh, this little box that I got uh, at an auction uh, a few years ago, and it's oh, about an inch and a half tall, uh, two inches by three inches, and it opens up. And I didn't know this until after I bought it, that when you open it up, it has pictures on the inside also. And, you know, it's very heavily enameled uh, and quite interesting. I'm going to gently close it, so if you want to open it, please do so. Don't shut it tightly all the way. And then uh, the next item I'm going to have Pat tell you about is uh, a piece of glass that uh, would probably be on a woman's dresser. Well, have you heard of custard glass? Uh, as I recall, he told me last night he was bringing this piece to show and tell. Uh, it's decorated with hand-painted flowers and so forth, but it would sit on a lady's dresser. And as she brushed her hair, she would clean her brush and put the pieces in this little receptacle. Uh, there's a hole at the top of the, on the lid. Uh, many times, the, uh, they just really either discarded, but ladies would um, roll them into like a little package, I should, if you want to say, and use them to plump up the curls and the poof, poofy hairdos that they had in the Gibson girl era, just like we would stuff our bras or something when we were, <laughs> but just to make their hair look more interesting. And also, they, they also kept um, treasured uh, people who have been deceased and so forth, and then they would make hair wreaths or they would wo wove bracelets or hair jewelry out of that. But that's very unusual, a custard glass piece like that. I've never seen one myself, and I covet that, but that's in his case. And now we have a blanket here, 1904. No, that's not 1904. <laughs> um, a little bit of uh, protection for this next item. Uh, several years ago, I bought some uh, silk scarves at the fair. And I had them, they were kind of folded up and I had them in little containers and you know didn't know what to do with it. And finally, a couple, two or three years ago, uh, I finally wanted to get it framed and I went to, if you ever want to get things framed, uh, keep an eye on coupons from Michaels, number one. Uh, they always have a 50% off custom framing. And if you go on the internet, I found out two or three times a year they have a 70% off coupon for custom framing. So if, you know, you can more or less splurge on whatever frame you want and mats, and if it costs $400, that's only going to cost you $120. Uh, the price really comes down with 70% off. But this is a, uh, a silk scarf, and I'm going to put it here just for a second. Uh, very fine silk with uh, Festival Hall and the Cascades on it. And I not only had this one, I had another one that was gray, silver, and red. So I framed that one in a very similar frame with, instead of the red mat, the gray mat, because there was already some red in the silk. And they make a really neat pair. And yeah, those, the prices I mentioned for framing were about what I paid. In fact, I paid a little bit more than that for each one. But to get something this nicely done and framed, I thought, even though the uh, item itself, you know, was under $100, I spent more than $100 framing it just because it looked so absolutely cool.